Hey, welcome back to my shop. My name's Lucy, and today I just wanted to share a little life lesson with you. The workshop's a great place for life lessons, like don't touch a moving blade, um, but also mistakes are opportunities. And some of my finest work has come because I had to come up with a creative solution because of a mistake that I made. And this weekend, I was batching out a bunch of these boxes, and sometimes when I'm batching something out, and you know, by the time I've taken 20th pass of doing something, I make some stupid mistake. And that's exactly what I did. When I was going through on the router table over my dovetail bit, I pulled back with the box kind of up, hit the blade, took a big chunk of wood out. So there was no salvaging that particular look. So instead it gave me an opportunity. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how that led to me making a little double dovetail. Um, you know, in the future, I'll even make it a little bit taller. I think the balance will be even better. But nonetheless, because of this big gouged out piece of wood, I was able to um, force myself to come up with a creative solution and actually made a really pretty joint. So I hope you enjoy the video. So there's the gouged out piece of wood. So at this point, I'm still pretty frustrated with myself. So I need to make the other dovetails I'll run a pass through all four sides here. All right, so once that's done, I'm now gonna move my fence back. And it's important that you move it back and not forward because you want it to be, you wanna be going through the same direction, hitting the correct side of the bit. Otherwise it'll kind of throw your box around. I'm going to do that to all four sides, and it's just going to give me a wider dovetail. I'm going to lower the bit to do the other two for each side. And I actually really like this look too, even if I hadn't put the double dovetail in the varying sizes of the dovetail also would have looked really nice in just the walnut. So I'm moving the bit back up because I need the dovetail to be tall enough to fit in that bigger um, groove. I'm just gonna take passes on each side and just slowly inch up to the correct fit. So I'm moving the fence just as small of increments as I can at a time here. And I check it and I got one that fit. So I'm just gonna cut those down into little splines. Use plenty of glue. So I cut those off and sanded them after they were dried. And so now I'm trying to find the exact center of that dovetail. And this part took a little finagling and um, a little bit stressful. Because if these are off just the slightest bit, it's gonna be really obvious. So once I think that I have it almost perfect, I'm gonna take a pass where I'm just gonna barely nick it so that I'm able to look and see if that nick is centered within the dovetail. Once I've got it perfect, I'm gonna run all the sides.
Now I have a bunch of dovetail splines already pre-made to just the size of the bit. So anytime that I'm not widening it, you know, I have some of those available. You know, if you're making them, it's easier to just make a bunch of them at once. So I'm just gonna put some maple splines inside here. And like I said, if I'd actually run that dovetail a little bit taller, the, the maple one, I think that I would have gotten a better balance of having the top and the sides of that double dovetail uh, be more symmetrical. Alright, as soon as those have dried in, I'm going to go ahead and cut these off. All right, now I'm just going to sand it down. I'm going to do 120, 220, and 320. And the final result's actually really pretty. So I'm going to play around with getting the balance on these um, a little bit different, but I think that for a pretty upsetting mistake at one point, it ended up with being a great opportunity and I got to try something new. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe.